Hi and welcome back. In today's video, you're going to learn how to find the reactions at the support of a statically determinate structure. For this particular structure, we are asked to find the compressive force acting on this element of the structure. The support at point A is assumed to be a pent support. The support at point B is assumed to be a roller support. So let's get started. First of all, we have to draw the free body diagram of the structure. What do we mean by a free body diagram is that we will remove the actual supports and replace them with the types of reactions they are producing. For example, the support at point A was a pen support, it will have a reaction in the x direction and will have a reaction in the y direction. And support at point B was a roller support and will only have a reaction in the y direction. In the next step, we are going to use the equilibrium equations. Summation of forces in the y direction should be zero in order for this structure to stay stable. Besides that, summation of forces in the x direction should be zero in order for the structure to stay stable in the x direction. And lastly, the summation of moments around any points should be equal to zero as well. Otherwise, the structure will not be stable. So for this purpose, we will write down the summation of forces in the y direction will equal to zero. For this particular problem, we will assume this direction in the y as positive, which means that forces acting in the opposite direction will have a negative sign and forces acting in the same direction will have a positive sign. So we will have minus 600 Newton minus 800 Newton plus reaction at point A in the y direction plus reaction at point B in the y direction. Summation of these forces will equal to zero. From here, we can write down an equation where our Ay plus our By will equal to 1400 newtons. We added these two since they both have the same sign and move them to this side. And the negative sign changed to positive sign. Next, we have the summation of forces in the x direction to be zero. Again, we will assume this direction to be positive the forces acting in the opposite direction of this will be assumed to have negative signs. Since we have only one force, which is reaction at point A in the x direction, that specific force will equal to zero. And lastly, summation of moments around point A will be equal to zero. For the moments, we will assume the counterclockwise direction as positive. Moments acting in the other direction will have a negative sign. So we will write down minus 600 Newton is the force which was acting and the moment arm for that force will be 1 meter. Since this force would like to rotate the structure in the opposite direction of this, the sign will be assumed to be negative. Same applies for the 800 Newton force. But the only difference is the moment arm this time is 4 meters. Next, we have the 900 Newton times meter moment which acted in the clockwise direction and again the sign will be negative. Finally, we have the reaction at point B, which moment arm will be 2 meters. The summation of these moments will equal to zero. From here, we can obtain our By to be 2350 newtons. And by replacing it, we will obtain that reaction at point A in the y direction to be minus 950 newtons. This means that the initial direction that we assumed for reaction at point A in the positive y direction was false and the force actually acts in the negative y direction. Now that we have all these forces, we know that the reaction at point B will be 2350 newtons. In order to find this force, we have to obtain this angle. We know the values for the opposite side and this side. We can name this angle as theta, and theta will equal to tangent inverse of 1.5 divided by 2. From here, we can obtain theta to be 37 degrees. Since we know the y direction component of this force will equal to this force multiplied by sine of 37 degrees. So we can write down reaction at point B in the y direction equals to this force times sine of this angle. Or in other words, we can write down reaction in this member will equal to reaction in the y direction divided by sine of this angle. From here, we will obtain the reaction in the member to be 3905 newtons. 
So this will be the compressive force acting on this member. And if you are going to design this member, this force will be considered for all the calculations. I hope you liked the content of the video. If you did so, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and following us on Instagram and LinkedIn. Thank you very much for watching.